Well, this room is head and shoulders above the rest. It must be some kind of makeup test room. Psst, Spy Fox, over here. Eh, uh, who said that? Over here, the redhead. Roger Bohr. Wow, you had me wigged out there for a second. Sorry, there's been a lot of hairy stuff going on around here. If you need any info about Poodle's Cosmetic Factory, just ask. Roger, Roger. How diabolical! That device is some sort of hair security scanner. I'm going to have to get an appropriate hair of the day wig disguise if I'm going to get past this crazy contraption. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about the hair of the day. I don't suppose you would know what the hair of the day is. The hair of the day is a purple mullet, accented with a lovely birdcage accessory. Got it. Thanks for the hairy information. Wow, this machine looks like some sort of scalp enhancement device, otherwise known as a wig-making machine. That screen shows the different styles of wigs this wigged-out machine can make. That's a pompadour-style wig. That's a bouffant-style wig. That's a mullet-style wig. Those buttons change the wig color. Four fashion colors to choose from. That screen shows the different accessories I can add to my wig. I think I'll make this wig. Now this wig really makes a statement. I'll just keep it in my pocket until I need it. I certainly don't feel pretty in this. My wig disguise got me past that hairy scanner. I'll leave it here so I can get back out. I hope Quack's sticky stun bun has more than flower power in it. The sticky stun bun worked. Quack's caramel coated confection has left those guards stuck in their tracks. It's the safe containing the key to Poodle's rocket ship. I just need to enter the correct code to open it. Luxurious shower powder. It's the combination to the safe containing the key to Poodle's rocket ship. What an odd combination. That crazy combination worked. I've got the key to Poodle's rocket ship. No safe is safe with this spy around. We have liftoff. 
The key worked. I'm sure Poodles will be mad that I borrowed her rocket. But it's her own fault for being evil. Sweet sabotage. Look at the size of that aerosol abomination. I've got to stop it before it depletes the ozone layer and everyone gets a nasty sunburn. APD. That must stand for aerosol particle diameter. Pushpin needs that number for his congeal pill. I'll just copy it onto a compact disc for safekeeping. Talk about a bad hair day. I think I'll leave this wig here for safekeeping. Here is the special clay you asked for, Pushpin. It is perfect, Mr. Spy Fox. Now all I need is... Kickle from the heart of the jungle. Secret Donut XY from the Donut Shop. The APD or aerosol particle diameter number from the orbiting aerosol can itself. And then I can complete the congeal pill! I used to play the banjo, but I quit because there were too many strings attached. Grandfather Fox had a saying, A penny in the hand is just a penny. You need a better job. Here is the aerosol particle diameter number you wanted, Pushpin. Straight from the orbiting aerosol can itself. Excellent, Mr. Spy Fox. Now all I need is... Kickle from the heart of the jungle. Secret Donut XY from the Donut Shop. And then I can complete the congeal pill. It took all of my spy abilities, but here is the secret donut XY. Thank you, Mr. Spy Fox. The glutinous quality of the secret filling is an essential ingredient of the congeal pill. Now all I need is... Kickle from the heart of the jungle. And then I can complete the congeal pill. Here is the chickle, Pushpin. Ah, the chickle! Its gummy quality is vital to the congeal pill. That is the final ingredient! Now I can finish the congeal pill! Mr. Spy Fox, you must toss this pill directly into the aerosol inside the orbiting aerosol can. It is highly unstable, so I would not waste any time getting out of the aerosol can. Got it. Pitch the pill and ditch the can. You should take this with you, Spy Fox. It's a Swiss spy knife. It's got a fork and a toothpick. That will come in handy if I'm ever caught dining without utensils. It also has a pair of chromium alloy high tensile strength wire cutters that can cut through sheer metal.
Now this is going above and beyond the call of duty. Poodles galore, your dog day of ozone depletion has departed. What? I don't think so. You weren't very good at bowling either, darling. Just who are you anyway? Fox. Spy Fox. And in the name of Spy Corps, I hereby place you under spy arrest. Not today, Foxy! I must warn you that I'm an expert in cock-a-doodle food. Drat. That steel net will keep you out of trouble. Now to finish my cosmetic caper. Well, I've certainly gotten myself into a fine steel mesh this time. I have to get out of this steel net and get that congeal pill back. Maybe there's something in Quack's Swiss spy knife that will get me out of this fine mesh. Uh, maybe I can use the toothpick to pick my way out. Well, that leaves the chromium alloy high tensile strength wire cutters that can cut through solid steel. I hope they work. That did the trick. Now I need to get back the congeal pill. I'm glad today wasn't garbage collection day. This time I'll be super ultra sneaky when I toss this into the aerosol. This time I'll keep my actions to myself. Congeal! Pill? How do you like them apples, Poodles? You fool! The aerosol is highly unstable! The whole thing is gonna blow! I can't let Poodles get away! A crazy villain like her should be behind bars getting the best rehabilitation my tax dollars can buy! Not so fast, Poodles Galore! Never catch me now! 
not with this impenetrable force field protecting my moon base. I'm snug as a bug and have plenty of time to devise my revenge. Let's see. There's always Operation Beauty Bark. How diabolical. A fingernail recognition device. Uh-oh, I hear a guard coming. My spy watch is beeping. I hope it's not a telemarketer. Please stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey Penny. Say, you look like you're in a mess. That's the super mess, Spy Fox. I'm right outside the moon base, but I can't get through the force field. I'll deactivate that force field just as soon as I can. I have to get in first, then figure out the special fingernail scanning device. Good luck, Spy Fox. We're all behind you on this one. This is the keypad that controls the door to the control room. I need to enter the code correctly to open that door. That opened the door. I'm in there like swimwear. This is Poodle's moon base control center. I need to turn the force field off so Monkey Penny can land the super spy mess. There's a room with a surveillance monitor over there. Think I'll do a little sightseeing spy style. Ow! Oh! The humanity! Oh! <laughs> Pickled potatoes! I've been pummeled by an enormous pink powder puff. What a humiliating trap! Well, there is no way to get to that surveillance monitor without pulling the plug on that powder puff first. Maybe if I'm really quiet... Ow! Oh! I could use a little help here! Oh! <laughs> Puff Daddy, I'm not! I've got to find a way to disable that powder puff. Maybe if I'm really... I'll try sneaky spy maneuver number 37. It never lets me down. Much for sneaky spy maneuver number 37. I'm going to have to disable that powder pump somehow. Uh. Interesting. That switch didn't seem to do anything. I suppose there is a remote chance that it's a remote switch. That switch must be the off switch for Poodle's pink powder puff pummel device. Now to shut off the... 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 Puff! Oh! Ow! Oh! Where's my stunt double... That funny little switch in the other room must have opened this closet. Those look like perfume bottles. They must really be important to keep locked up like this. And you never know when a little perfume might come in handy. It's like a party in my nose and everyone's invited. Perfume bottle fit perfectly. I think it turned this machine off. Ingenious! That perfume bottle was really a diodic stopulator in disguise.
that pulled the plug on Poodle's pink puff of doom. Now I can continue my mission. Okay, Powder Puff, give me all you've got. was just a little powder. The Dionic Stopulator disguised as a perfume bottle did the trick. Poodle's Powder Puff is out of commission. This must be Poodle's security center. She must have surveillance cameras set up all around her moon base. These buttons scroll through the different surveillance cameras Poodle's has set up around her moon base. This looks like an automated fingernail painting machine. How handy. I With these buttons, I can choose which pattern to decorate my fingernails. This allows me to pick which color to paint my fingernails. Yellow. That painted my fingernails, and they look pretty. Yellow stars. As they say in France, ooh la la. My manicured fingernails aren't doing the trick. I've got to copy Poodle's fingernails exactly. I need to use this device to paint my fingernails exactly like Poodle's. The things I do to save the world. Orange. That fingernail painter tingles. Orange stars. Now that's trend setting. It worked! Now to muzzle that poodle for good! Monkey Penny, the force field is down! Stick em! Copy that, Spy Fox. We're in there like swimwear. Hey, that's my... Oh, never mind. What? What is going on? Oh, the chump that turned the force field off! I'm that chump, poodles! Again. This time I'll take care of you myself! I must warn you that I am an expert in cock-a-doodle poo. Not so fast, poodles. My nail! My nail! Oh, pretty thing, pingly way! <gasps> Wasn't even the press on kind. I am hideous. Thanks, Monkey Penny. It really wasn't necessary. I was using the spy play possum maneuver. Sure, Spy Fox. Would you believe the limp biscuit maneuver? Mm-hmm. How about the dead fish maneuver? Mm-hmm. Here, have some hard candy. Spy Fox, for your super spectacular deeds of daring do in destroying the orbiting aerosol can and capturing that pernicious poodles galore, I present you the really big award of stupendous merit. Thanks, Chief. Now what are you going to do? I think I'll take a vacation. I'm dog tired. Hey, 